not a Luddite when it comes to the new technologies and social media. I tell my students, don't text me, I don't have time for it. And then it just hit me. Consequential writing. What do you think a tweet is? What do you think a like on Facebook is? They're tweeting, they're sending a text message, and they're getting an immediate response. Our students have been engaged in consequential writing from the first time they picked up a mouse, from the first time they touched an iPad. So consequential writing, as the name implies, is writing with consequences, in particular immediate consequences for the writer. Academic writing might be thought of as the counterpart to consequential writing. It is often something that a student really is not engaged in. Consequential writing should be heavily ingrained into the curriculum of academia. In order to become a better writer, you have to write. So we take something that's natural to them or something that is fun or something that they engage in often and we say, well, you're doing the same thing over here, we just call it something different. Writing is a, a living organism, it's a, it's a vibrant thing, it's a, it's a vibrant process that your brain on, undergoes. Writing as a consequence is really about the rewards. Um, it's, 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 it's a rewarding process. A lot of times people don't even realize that they're writing a consequential writing. Take Facebook posts for example. The average person doesn't have just one person reading their Facebook post. A post usually has an audience that consists of hundreds of members. Maybe it's teaching a student how to fill out a form to apply for something that they need for the moment. Maybe it's helping them fill out a job application or a resume. Perhaps you are writing a letter or a note to a significant other or a crush or a loved one. Um, consequential writing takes all forms. Uh, that results in a response that they need. You, you can learn things and you can grow by keeping a journal or by writing about a process, a simple reflection assignment. Writing that makes an immediate difference for them when they finish it, when they submit it, when they turn it in, when they post it. Consequential writing happens every day in the world around us. It's an integral part of our lives. And our students have been writing consequentially for a long time. I really wasn't prepared to write well in college when I first started attending college. I was actually placed in a developmental course for writing. Professor Frazier was my writing teacher and he showed me a lot. Like He made me so much more comfortable with writing and it's something I've honestly never liked to do was writing. Before I came to college, I wanted to get more opportunities in life. David, David Corey, he always has helped me, always with all my assignments. He told me about also even Phi Theta Kappa, which is the International Honor Society here on campus, and he told me what I needed to do to get into it. Something that I wrote that really helped me was I answered some questions for, to apply for a scholarship and recently I was told that I got the scholarship. I actually once wrote a recommendation letter for a friend, a good friend of mine, a co-worker of mine. He had uh, been on probation for almost three years and he had two more to go so he was trying to get early release from it. I was really honest in this and I provided good details about how I had seen him change and the way I, I've helped him myself and kept him kind of out of trouble, kind of like taking him under my wing in a way. And he could only get one recommendation letter and he chose me, so I took it really serious. And it, the judge read it and I was there that day with him when he was at court and it was approved. He got early release. At Mountain View, we have the great opportunity with the QEP to make consequential writing part of the everyday instructional process. The Writing Center definitely embraces the concept of consequential writing. We're changing the way students are thinking about the assignments at hand. They feel better about their writing having visited the Writing Center. They feel better about themselves as writers having visited the Writing Center. Now I am a honors student because all the help that he has given, he has given to me. I get little snaps and, and glimpses of 
uh, just the awesome experience that they're having. We spend a lot of our energy inside the classroom because that's when we have the students hostage. I mean, uh, that's when we have the students attention. However, outside the classroom, we have uh, several initiatives. We create events all throughout the year. Every month, there's something that's gonna have um, an emphasis on the voice of the writer coming through. Students who feel self-confident about themselves are going to be successful, many of them completing their degrees. A key to that success is being able to communicate and think creatively, and consequentially. We can create not just better writers, but better people. Every course that we teach can teach writing consequentially. So let's try and free it up and let it, let the dog have its bark and let the dog run out and play and, and free up that beast and that animal, which is your voice. And we empower that through uh, writing. Because writing changes lives. That's consequential writing. Wave it, wait, wave at the camera. That's good. All right, just, I don't know, strike a pose, strike a pose. <laughs> It's going to be hard to explain.